Oh, we're out to see a big fire duct. Um, yeah, if you're watching this, Grandma, I might be going up on it, if we can get on it. But, cool. You've got to sort of admire the oldies a little bit with this amazing bit of flipping brickwork. Like, I mean, the brickwork's just downright amazing on this. Look at the flipping massive archways in it. It's just absolute bonkers. And, uh, yeah, it still looks just as good as the day it was made. A bit of corrosion on the corners there, but, cool. What type of brick, what type of bond's that? Oh, yeah, English brick, uh, English brick bond that is. Chelsea Fire Duct. Chelsea Fire Duct. Established 19... 19... Uh, that's a, no, that's... 18. Yeah, 1998. Alright, oh, it's a bit older than what I thought these are. Refurbished in 2000. And it was refurbished in 2000. God knows why they've refurbished it, but... It, mind you, it does look just as good as when it was built, really. You know what I mean? If you look at the bricks up there, I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, because it sort of looks black to me, but... I mean, all, the bricks up there look quite clean and like they were laid yesterday, and then the ones down here sort of look like they were laid years ago. But, no, I've got to admit, this is just an absolute, you've got to admire the oldies a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Right. Right, so we're trying to make, work our way up to the fire ducts. I've obviously been on the old Google Maps and worked out that there's a train bridge up here. <laughs> well, it seems a bit more high up than what Google Maps betray is, but... Hey ho, it's worth a try. <laughs> right. I think the easiest way to climb up would be that way, wouldn't it? Uh, oh yeah, a bit easier here. Huh. Well, private land keep out. Well, it's not exactly secured. Highways Act, 1980. Huh. What does that mean then? This is not all... Oh, well. I'm still going to come along here anyway. You can see people coming along here because there's a track along here. This used to be where the train track used to be. You can yeah, see because it's been levelled out and I can also feel the ballast underneath my feet. There it is. Oh, bloody bird. Here we are, we found a tyre. One of the good old classics we find, isn't it? Where would one of my urban exploring videos be without one of these? Oh look, there's another one! Yeah, well, how, on, how on earth would you get tyres up here and why would you? No idea. Well, look at the way the trees have overgrown the track. Yeah. It's amazing that, isn't it? It is cool. You see where I get my opinions from advanced races being here in the past, like? Because, I mean, go back, say, 40 year ago there would have been a train line here and well it hasn't been that long and it's all overgrown how long ago did this train stop being used in? uh just before my mother was born i think um when colin was a little boy uh colin can just about remember a lot more of the ruins and shit oh, they must be talking like 70s. yeah look at this 
It's a bit odd. There's a train book. How convenient is that? I'm seeing of them. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I wonder who dumped a load of train books up here. I wasn't expecting to find that. Oh, that's like concrete. Oh no, it's brickwork. Right. Well, annoyingly, we've got this great gut fence blocking our way. And uh, quite frankly, even though I can get over it, I don't quite fancy yet because well there's a bit of a drop there and uh hmm I could climb over that bit maybe but yeah it's gonna be a bit of a pantsy one um I don't fancy it yeah. Bummer. Hey ho, we can still see it from here. You know what I mean, look at it. I was hoping to get on there and be able to see the view, but. Haha, -ha, my hand can. I was hoping to get on there and see the view, like, you know what I mean, because it's a bit of a strange one. It's like hidden in a valley, like. Well, most fire ducks usually are. And I was wondering what the view was like, but I've always wanted to walk on this one ever since being a kid. And, uh,. Yeah, well, annoyingly, the uh, getting on here has been cancelled due to a fence in the way. Never mind, looks like I ain't going to work my way round, so end the video. Nice little short one. But, yeah, that pillar there, that's fairly new actually. And same with that one, so. They have been doing work to it in the last umpteen years, and this bit of wall here and all, that's fairly new. People tried to work their way in. Oh, that's very much interesting. Yeah, it's well annoying, isn't it? Well annoying! Hmm. Oh well, end of vid. It's amazing what you find like, just generally exploring woodland like, you know what I mean like, because all this used to be like old train line and shit and you find an old car, it's like you question how you, they even got it up here because the road's all the way down here. This seems, what, what do you reckon this is then, like an old motorcycle lamp? Old motorcycle light. Well, it looks like it. Well, it could be. Switches on top of the headlight, that's why. Is that actually a motorbike lamp yeah. then? Oh, yeah. That's an old motorcycle on. So, old motorcycles just have them on the switch. Yeah, you've got a motorcycle chain up there. And then. What's a Leland gearbox? What's a Lehman gearbox? A Leland. Bre what? British. There's a sign there on the gearbox. On the wash left of the gearbox. So. No idea what it actually was. With. So what would you find a one of those gearboxes on then? On a British car, British made car, you'll find that on. Alright. Um, uh, I have no idea what it was. It used to be yellow, whatever it was. Yeah, you're yellowish. Alright. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how oh, it's still got the seatbelt. Yeah. So it was invented in the times of seatbelts. I mean, it's just it's just amazing how things just like rot away and can just be reclaimed by the land so easily. Hmm. Mind you, the seatbelt is British made. That's why England have the reputation of being a nanny state. But well, I mean, like this whole track. It just used to be an old train line. You know what I mean, I, I wouldn't mind walking the whole lot to be honest, but I'm not in the right shoes. We'll do that one day.
Hmm. I can feel the ballast under my feet. Look, there's a bit of ballast right there. Basically, right, when they put train tracks down, they put like a ballast down, like stones, like loads of them, and then they put the track on top of the ballast. Yeah, fucking birds. I hate them. That flapping noise they make with their wings is really annoying. Is that leather down there? That's a rule. It is. That's leather. It's amazing, it's amazing how well leather actually lasts, even that it's technically just the skin of an animal, isn't it? It's a shame we've got no hints to what car this used to be. No idea. It's definitely not a Reliant Robin type car because it's got no. four wheels, but... You know what I mean? Anyone watching this, they can tell what this is just by a wheel. I'll, <laughs> I'll, hug it, I'll give you a uh, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Do you reckon your dad would be able to tell what car this used to be? No idea. <laughs> if he was there. Well, put it this way, it's a bit fucked now. Mm. He ain't going to go for OT anytime soon, mate. Do you reckon Melvin would pass it? He <laughs> would actually, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I don't think he would. No, no, he's messing around. Yeah, we're only messing around if you wash this, Melvin. <laughs> don't worry, Melvin, we know you'll pass it, really. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, bottle. That'd be 1970, that bottle, I reckon. Recent, but not majorly recent. I just want to have a quick look just to see what else we find fucking birds it's a shame i was hoping to find like a bit of leftover track still down yeah hang on i almost just like look around the corner a minute Uh, oh well, I think we'll uh, end this on the journey of me and here. Look at all the trees. Oh, wow, I love the countryside. Absolute brilliant place to come to. Hmm. Don't know why there's a. Cool. On the camera. That shows that that red bit of paint shows up really well. With my eyes, it's a lot dimmer. Right. That's end the journey. I have got other abandoned places I want to go and check out, ladies and gentlemen, but the problem I've got is um is the daylight issue and the um length of time that it actually takes to get to these places having a full-time job and making these videos is really 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 hard trust me it really is majorly hard and uh, as you can tell I have been out urban exploring but I've had quite a few fails just like this one but hey ho I mean it's still interesting to come and look at and uh, yeah I really like and this sort of stuff it's like really good fun but yeah it does it is a bit disappointing though when you like turn up to a place and it's like a fail but hey ho it's what it is i mean fails you know there's like security there and we're running away from security it's sometimes a bit boring if you know what i mean right i mean i've got a good video where we go to like an old school and there is security there and we had to like leave pretty quick before we got spotted i mean i'll upload that one in a year or so but i want to upload it now just just in case but yeah it's uh quite an interesting one i might actually come out here in the summer a little bit or uh, beginning of spring just before everything starts growing again just uh there's anything interesting on the track 
well, whilst we're here, this is a closed down school. Um, I heard something about it being closed down due to abuse, but I might be wrong there. Don't take that down as fact, because it was a long time ago I researched this place. But I thought we'll uh, have a quick gander. It's in there then. Pink loom bands. Loom bands. Loom bands. Oh yeah. So like kids love them. That's why I know what they are. Yeah. Yeah, I know what loom bands are. They were <laughs> around when I was in school. Don't worry. Oh, that's right. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we get to see more of the fire duct. Oh, it's fucking slippery, yeah? No wonder the place was closed down. It's actually becoming quite a good explore. I wish I brought my torch along with me now. I'm trying to keep that door open. Have a good look in. Yeah. Some form of pellets there. Shoes. Bedding. Clipboard. This ain't half bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, a what? There'll be a match frame. Oh, I've got to have a look. This has actually turned into quite a nice little urban explorer trip. This I wasn't expecting. Last time I turned up here, it was all secure. Still looked rather used. Jerry can. But um. Furniture. Ho 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 ho! <coughs> I bet a few people from the 90s remember licking these. <laughs> it tastes nice, apparently. <laughs> better respect the place when I come to places I always like to respect the place respect the fact that someone might own it We'll try doors, just, I mean, I tried door handles just for a security purpose, so if security do watch my video, they know it's open. What a little bollocks, eh? <laughs> ah, just, uh, huh? Yeah, we're not walking onto anyone's property here, are we? No, I know. Woo, it's a bit slippery. I wonder the place got closed down and the kids must have kept slipping and the parents must have kept suing. A oh, water tank in here. God, I mean, what, what an amazing school being able to look at a oh, fucking a sacrilege putting a satellite dish on that fire duct, didn't it? Why? Nothing really over there. Oh, I thought you, thought you saw someone then no, for a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> I've seen someone for a while, as I said. Oh. Back, yeah. oh, fair enough. This is quite an interesting place, actually. Yeah. Can't get into any of the buildings though. Probably could if we had a. No, we're not breaking into them. We're not here to do that. No, no, we don't. We don't actually break into buildings. I've got few videos where we've tried to get into buildings and we have failed because we it's just too secure for us to get in. Like I'll only go in if there's an easy, obvious entrance. Uh, you know I mean, as you can see, I'm trying door handles, but I'm not particularly forcing them open or out. 
Well, I thought we'd be going in for a minute. Oh, listen to the sound of this water. Oh, I love the sound of running water. Just have a listen for a minute. And that's just a beautiful... Whoa! There's a flipping mill back here, isn't there? Music. Whoa! Is it like a mill? Look at that! It's a mill. So basically the water would run through here and make that thing spin. Hey Dave, look at that! Oh yeah? That basically the water used to come through that and make that spin. Please. Yeah. Only a little white like, outhouse bits broken into. Ooh, the box in there. I wonder what's in it. Filled with it, nothing. Yeah, nothing in there. Yeah. It's just a cupboard. Nothing great. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, it's a tree bunch, not asbestos piping. I've got a couple of words I want to say, but I'm not going to say it on film, just in case people get the wrong idea. Right, should we go back to the car and get my torch? No, I would do it before. Yeah, I know, but if we go in, I ain't going to be able to film, because... We've got a nice little building here to go exploring in now. This one's open. Should we go back and get my torch? No entry apparently. Remember these? Oh, they're like the, the crash mats you used to have in PE that used to flip and stink. Yeah, still do. They used to stink of like, well, kids I suppose. Hmm. Well, I did say we were going to teleport into that building, but... Whoa, look at this, Dave. Right, you've got fucking stonework coming out the wall. Sorry, I really like stonework and brickwork. I mean, everything comes with the construction element I've got. <laughs> I wouldn't want this bit at all. It's like uh, a bit of a delay to the um, video. Hmm. To be honest with you, I can get into these buildings easy, but the point I'm making is I don't break into anything. I only go in when there's a clear and obvious entrance in. I would never ever break into a building. It's just not my style. You know what I mean? As you can see, I'll give doors a go just to make sure they're not open. But overall, I don't believe in breaking into buildings. I don't believe in vandalism. I don't believe in destruction, I just want to come and have a look at history, even though these buildings ain't really that old. Just waiting for Dave, who is back in the series. I haven't had Dave on my YouTube channel for a while because, uh, well, he's got personal matters to uh, 
contend with and uh, I've got to respect that. Just love the sound of the water. No, this is an old building. It's got proper laves and lime on it. I'll tell you what, I'll cut, cut out the bit of waiting for Dave. Right, everyone's been waiting for. To go in. Right, this is where we find. <laughs> it's just a lavatory. What a fucking bummer. We went all the way back to get my torch just for a lavatory. Yes, you got bug roll. <laughs> Yeah, anyone who wants to nick some bog <laughs> and towels and oh, a bit of soap, very valuable these days, soap. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Yeah, bit of a waste of time. I was expecting something good. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, there's a flood defence thingy there. Mm. Well, listen. There's power. You can see the... Oh no, there ain't no power. That's why that thing's screaming. God, look at the fireplace. It's oh, that that has been used and all. A fireplace for a school. That's flipping bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. Should we try the fire exit? Oh, look around here. Whoa, bit slippery, Dave. Nope, not a lot. No. Nah. Not a lot to see. That does open a bit. Nah, you ain't gonna open. That's a bummer. Just hoping to get in. We'll have a quick further look around. Oh yeah, we're here. Whilst we're here. Um, where's your go? Back. Well, no, we could go around the back of this one. No, I like there is a passageway round the back of here. What the hell's that? There's an old climbing wall. Yeah. With the bits all taken off, the reason why I'm coming back round there, just double check, we haven't missed anything. There's like old changing rooms in here. It's like a bench on the... Changing room or something. <laughs> Almost, isn't it? God knows why you would have a changing room in here. It seems like quite a big school, doesn't it? Just have a read inside. There's a torch. What was in that door there? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Couldn't open. Couldn't open. Asbestos. I almost thought that was a pump. Now, there is an asbestos warning for this room on the wall. But, I don't see where it is. Where is the asbestos in here? No idea. Anyway. That's what I'm missing, so it could be an asbestos feeling. Don't know. But I can't see any in here. Oh, barbecues. Someone's had a barbie in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like someone did have an entrance here, but it's been boarded up. There's another entrance up the top there. Okay. And I can't see if it's open or not from down here, but it might be our best bet. Okay. 
go down that way then. Yeah. Mind you, even if we don't get in today, we just well, have to. Not that I'm advertising someone to come and do it, please don't. But hopefully, if I keep checking this one out, someone else might have broken in or someone might accidentally leave a door open, you never know. You can tell someone's already been in there, like ripping things up and whatnot. I would assume through that part that's boarded up. Yeah. Get stoned. It'd be nice to be able to get stoned whenever I like. That thing's pretty cool. Huh. A bit of a bushy track. Nothing is simple with urban exploring. Now, this is why I don't upload regular videos because, well, it takes a lot of planning and a lot of failures. That thing is absolutely marvellous and I don't like standing on this platform too much. Oh, there. I bet it's a lot of nothing again, isn't it? No. Let's see. I can't see I've got a torch. Freezer. Very solid. Yeah, Kellogg's cornflake bowls. You've got a straw on the side. How <laughs> neat is that? Huh? Yeah. Well, we're in the loft. I don't see any way of getting down. No. <laughs> this building's well annoying, isn't it? It's like it's got like little entrances here, there, and everywhere. You know, really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like misleading to fuck. All these shelves are empty. I mean, it's like a bit of a boring video <laughs> to a degree, isn't it? It's just failure after failure. Hmm. What's that? A dead mouse or? No, it ain't gonna be a rat. It's too small to be a rat. It's a mouse. Yeah. Another freezer there. <laughs> What's the time, people? You ain't gonna have no power in here. No, it's right, I can see the electrics are fucked, oh, yeah. even though that's not electric. Cool. That's, um, I think that's data. Yeah, data. Yeah, TV, probably, most likely. If we lock up. Oh, with some cooking business on top. But. Ain't a lot up here anymore. Yeah, that's where we were just a minute ago. I looked up here and I could see a door open. I'm going to close the door back up. Yeah. Oh, the door's a bit of a sticky one. The reason why I'm closing the door back up is for the respect of the building. Probably just a plant room, right? Boiler room, yeah. Yeah. Boiler room, that one. No luck for that one. No. No. Uh, okay. Just one large disappointment. My well, yeah, sheds have been pretty good to us, haven't they? Well, that's the only thing that seems to be open, yeah. <laughs> it's like. Tiverton police station all over again. Yeah. Apart from this place has little nuts and crannies we can actually look in. 
that are a bit misleading. You think, oh yeah, here's a nice little breakthrough, we can get in here. And then we go in and it's like, fuck all there, like it's a toilet or basically we're left le leaving disappointed. All right. Music room? Huh. Doesn't look very musical, does it? No. Oh. Might as well. Yeah, it's actually fuck all inside the rooms. It's that little hole down there underneath the stairs. Um, nothing. No idea for the kids to go skiving. Another disappointment. Yeah, you've got traffic cones in there. Dave, want a new t-shirt? <laughs> I remember in the hoarders video when I climbed, we climbed through the window in the yeah. shed. My brother Andre was like, "Oh, did you just go through the window?" Well, I was like, yeah. "I was like, yes, yeah, we had to buildings like this." <laughs> but yeah. Please close the door behind you. Thank you. Well, it's locked. The good for the looks of it. So how are we meant to uh, close it? Hold oh, for a minute. These are just like, this is just one room. So this must have been like a classroom. Yeah. So in order for the kids to go from classroom to classroom, they have to have walked outside. That's a little awkward, isn't it? Like, it's like flipping cold torture isn't it yeah i hate being cold it's like one of the worst feelings on the planet i can still mesh ate that fucking stuff oh. awkward nasty stuff it is there's a dead plant in there a dead plant and a bin bag yeah i just want the fire ducks to be my background because it's just brilliant. Um, good question, but it's on a child lock, so you ain't gonna get through it. Um, my history with glass isn't very good. Yeah. I ended up with a bit of glass in my hand once for uh, moving glass around on site and it made me feel a bit ill until someone pulled it out for me and as soon as they pulled it out I felt very much relieved but I don't think we're getting in anywhere um, anyway this, this building here is modern either way I just want to take another piss out of something what's this? oh a pair of socks they're quite large socks for a, uh, a student. What do you see, Dave? What's that? Oh. Pond there. Well, well, even if it is an open window, we're only going to be able to go in one room. Yeah. There's trophies in the window. Them, really? Pretty much. There's a pond there. Oh yeah, it's like a little stuff in there. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've still relatively enjoyed coming up here, like, you know what I mean? It's even though it's all locked up, it's still quite a nice amount to look at. 
anyone want a new bike is a bike right here all nicely left mattress or some form of thing bin bags look at this thing this is like a thing from the ancient days isn't it I wonder what it's for I don't know it's a bit before my time Pretty neat though, isn't it? I wonder what the steam room means. I never had a steam room in school, did you? No, I didn't know that either. Well, I knew we did sort of go to the same school, so. Yeah. Uh, oh. I think we've looked at everything. Look at the way the ceilings have just walked on through. Yeah, there's your loom bands again, Dave. Yeah. They don't look any good, though. No, they're yeah. probably not. Loom, loom bands actually come out when I was in school. Oh, I, I was out of school by then. Yeah, um, I, I think it was like my last couple of years. They were sort of all in the range. And to be perfectly honest with you, loom bands, yeah, I mean, looks good to me. You know what this could be used for, don't you? Smashing stuff up with? Laying curbs. But I think it's um a blacksmith's hammer. Copper hammer, isn't it? I know, but it seems like a blacksmith's hammer. But God, that's the what I wanted to go on. That but fired that. To me. Ah, why? Why has everything got to be made so difficult for us? Why can't it all be made nice and easy? Well, I suppose if it was made nice and easy, it wouldn't be any fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, on that note, I'm off.